Hi, this is Providence Cinderella. Bless you that you are watching me. Yes, bless you. And and <clears throat> keep on sharing. Keep on subscribing. Keep on commenting on Casuala TV. You know, we are about to hit the streets. You know, it's Providence Casuali meet the street evangelism we are about to meet we are about to hit the street of kumasi yes we are hitting the street of kumasi evangelism street by street this is the time that god is god is passing through us to save so many souls the souls that they have been bind with shackles you know so when we say meet the street meet the street evangelism you say breaking the shackles yes we've been starting on tuesday we're gonna meet the streets of kumasi so please who wants to join us this tuesday you are welcome if only you are in kumasi you are welcome because this is the time for us to to spread the gospel around the world especially we go into street because this is the time that God has given me that privilege to do that. So we are we are meeting people on the street to to spread the word of God. You know something, beloved people. The time is due. The time is near. Our Christ Jesus is coming. His second coming is at hand. What are you doing to yourself? Are you still living in a sinful life? I use is now that you are doing the, the sinful things that God dislike. What are you doing to your life? What are you doing to yourself? Come run to Christ. Come run to Jesus Christ. Please, the things that God doesn't want you to do, please abstain yourself from it. Especially the ladies, the way we dress, the dressing. Now people cannot scuff their hair. People cannot cover their body. The ladies cannot cover their body showing off half nakedness on social media outside wearing what is naughty enticing the men out there i'm telling you you cannot wear what belongs to a man as a woman and a man cannot wear what belongs to a woman so now everybody is wearing what they want I want you to I want to remember you on this. Whilst you are wearing what you want, when judgment appears on you unexpectedly, what would you do whilst you are wearing what God doesn't want you to wear? When judgment appears to you, what would you do? Because you are wearing the things that God doesn't want you to wear. You are wearing what God does like. My brethren, my sister, this is the time give your life to Christ. Come to Christ. Come to Christ. God needs you in his kingdom. Don't let the devil draw you to his kingdom. Please. The things that you are wearing can lead you to hell. The makeup that you have on your face can lead you to hell. The extension of the hair that you have on can lead you to hell. The, the, the trousers and the skinny that you are wearing... The pants that you are wearing can lead you to hell. Why can't you find yourself or why can't you dress modesty? Showing your boots, showing your backs, showing your stomach wearing, showing your stomach dresses can lead you to hell. Don't you know that these things are from the devil? Why are you letting the devil steal your eyes? Telling you that that is beautiful. That is good. When you wear that, it will help you. He is deceiving you. He wants you, draw you and draw you gradually to his kingdom. That's why he's keeping on deceiving you, telling you that what you are wearing is good. He blindfolds your eyes. He is blindfolding your eyes for you to know that if you dress modesty, it means you're not looking good. 
That is the thought of the devil. We, you need to cover yourself. You are precious to God. God bought you with his blood high expensive. So why are you expensive person? Then why are you showing off your nakedness? Why are you disgracing yourself? Why are you selling yourself outside for everybody to buy some? Don't you know that you are selling out yourself with what you are wearing? Oh yes. The things that you are wearing, you are selling out yourself. The makeup that you have on your face, you are selling out your feels. You are selling yourself out. The lashes. You are selling yourself yourself out to the devil. Everybody that meets you on the street says, Come, let me talk to you. You are too beautiful. The beauty that he sees is the, the beauty of the devil. And it draws him closer to that person to use you. So the person will use your body and later on dump you. That is the work of the devil. Why are you letting the devil to rule you? Why are you letting the devil to let you know that what you are doing is good? You are selling yourself. You are selling yourself. You are selling yourself with immoralities, impurities, sexual things, lustful things. You are selling yourself out to the devil. Can't you see? Because you cannot cover yourself. You think to cover yourself, you're looking bad or you, you, you don't look good. The devil is speaking to your mind that covering yourself. It's, it's, you are hiding your beauty. Who told you? Who told you that you are hiding your beauty? You are more beautiful when you cover yourself. That shows that the precious things that God has given to you has been covered. If a man wants it, need to come and marry you before that man sees it. Don't sell yourself. With little money. Don't sell yourself. A man can give you peanuts of money to see your body and you agree to it. Even when you sell yourself for a car, when you sell yourself for a phone, when you sell yourself for a house, it means you, you are, you are useless because you are worth more than a car. You are worth more than a house. You are worth more than a phone. You are worth more than the amount that the person will give you to see your nakedness. You are worth more than that. Don't you see how precious you are? Because of this tiny hole. Let me tell you, this small tiny hole. When man comes to you, he beg you. He beg you. He wants to use everything that he has. To give it to you to enter this tiny hole that tells you that you are precious can't you see that tells you are you are different that makes you different that makes you a woman that makes you expensive that's why god is telling you that you should be vigilant you should be vigilant and cover yourself just see yourself that you are expensive woman don't use this hole that God has given to you. Don't use it anyhow. Don't give it out just like that. You are expensive. You are precious. Because you don't see yourself precious. You don't see yourself expensive. So a man can buy a car for you and sleep with you and later on dump you. He sees you as a fool. He sees you as a fool. He sees you that you, 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 you are you, you are a, a point of, or you are a rock to that. You are a rock to him. A precious woman. Stay for a man to marry her. If you think you are precious, cover yourself. Let, your, let the man come and see your parents. Do the right thing to take you home. On his bed. Listen, God is coming. Jesus is coming. Don't use your body for money. You will regret it. Judgment day. The moment you use your body for money. And you die. Without repentance. 
you will regret. You will go and rot in the hell of fire. Repent, 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 repent. God is coming. Bless you. My name is Brother Cinderella. Bless you. Follow all my social media handle. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Evangelist Casuale. Bye.